Hello there, welcome to another edition of Hashtag Now Smoking. This is the classic edition. I'm Gary Korb, your host, executive editor for CigarAdvisor.com. And I'm here with Vilma Ravello once again. She's in the purchasing department at Famous Smoke Shop. And we are smoking the Oliva Siri V Lancero in the natural wrapper. And this cigar hit the top 25 again last year. For 2019, it was the uh, number six. So this cigar has had a lot of history and a lot of luck, and there's a good reason for it. We're gonna try to prove that today. Um, what do you think? Love me a Lancero. You so love Lanceros, that's good. I like Lanceros. All so right. Yeah. I don't smoke a lot of them, uh -huh. but um, they are very good. They uh, are very good. If you get good. the right one. If this you one, get the right one we know is this should be really well loved a real right one. we're looking yeah. forward to it Me too. okay well let's uh, let's uh, take a look at it a little bit um, it's really well made obviously it's an Oliva it's a Siri V the Siri V series has had I mean amazing success over amazing. the years uh, in all the it sizes was number one uh, I'm not I cannot remember what year torpedo, but it was, was the number one, one was yeah. one of them yeah, it's just just a great cigar yes it is and uh, we'll get more into the background on the line and everything in our next segment but it's got a beautiful triple seam cap the the, the wrapper is pretty flawless uh, I don't see any veins or anything it's really nice um, yep. mm -hmm. the humidity is really nice in here I mean it's been you know well humidified and it's uh, got a little give and it's, uh, it's ready to go so I'm gonna cut mine um, so you like the V cut I love the V cut why do you like the V cut no it just cuts the right amount on, of yeah, the it, top it is good for it's yeah, it's good a thinner cigar like this let's see I'm using the uh, standard cut I got a pretty good draw hmm what are you getting uh, in the pre-light um right now like a little nutty yeah for me mm -hmm. a little nutty a little i don't know it's kind of um tangy but not fruity tangy. not fruity there's, there's tangy i was um, gonna say like orangey tart. but yeah. not too much yeah. of it all right well let's light this baby up By the way, we're coming to you from the famous smoke shop, Cigar Lounge, in Eastern Pennsylvania. It's a really nice place to come and have a cigar if you live in the Lehigh Valley area. So, uh, even check it the out. surrounding areas, if yeah. you we live got a lot right of New there, Jersey people here, people, yeah, yes. You getting any pepper? A little peppery note. A little there? bit. Yeah. You can taste the lijero a little bit too. Yeah, this does have some lijero. Lijero in it, so you you can actually kind of taste but it's it's good i'm having it with coffee and it mm -hmm. pairs oh, very too. well okay all right so we're on even uh, even par right now all right well once we get into act one we'll talk a little bit more about it we'll give you some background and some other nice things so check this out we're here and we're in our right minds aren't we uh, let's go all right we're back with the hashtag now smoking classic edition from the Famous Smoke Shop Lounge in East Pennsylvania with Vilma Ravello from Famous Smoke Shop, Gary Korb here, and we are enjoying this Oliva Siri V very we well, are. aren't we? Yes, this we are. This is really a classic, and look at that nice ash we got on there. Vilma already uh, <laughs> lost hers. <laughs> My, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's really, really beautiful. I'm, I'm getting kind of like a medium body out of it, rounded out very quickly. Yeah, the reason why is because they aged the, the tobacco, you mm -hmm. know, for a while, so that makes it more medium. Oh yeah, it definitely evens, evens out, out really the tobacco. well. And in Lajero, Nicaraguan Lajero, well, depending on where it's from, can be pretty strong, especially if it's from Esteli. But this is from Jalapa, and let me talk about the blend in uh, more detail. This is the um, Lancero from the Oliva Siri V natural box. And it's seven inches by 38, which is, I think, pretty, pretty standard for a Lancero. Pretty standard, yes. Um, the strength is full. The wrapper for the natural is an Ecuador sun-grown Habano, which is nice. It's used mm -hmm. a lot. It's kind of a spicy wrapper, too, yeah. generally. The binder is from uh, Nicaragua. They don't specify where. But the, as you noted, uh, the filler is Nicaraguan Jalapa Lancero. Mm -hmm. And Jalapa is, I, I like Jalapa mm -hmm. um, tobacco. It's, it's, it's probably the sweetest 
of the Nicaraguan mm -hmm. uh, tobacco is probably not, I would say the lightest, but certainly it's a lot lighter than Esteli. Right. And um, anyway, so a little bit about Oliva, because unless you're living under a rock and you don't know about Oliva cigars, um, Melanio Oliva, and you know they have a Melanio edition, he's, mm -hmm. he's like the patriarch of, of the company. He started growing tobacco in Pinar del Rio in about 1886. So this family goes back pretty far. And, um, you know, he was doing this, um, he even what he did was he, he actually stopped growing tobacco so he could fight the Cuban War of Independence. Uh, then uh, in the 20s, his son Facundo uh, took over growing operations. Now, um, then you know, Cuba became uh, overrun by the communists, of course, in the 50s. And uh, his son, Gilberto, who is, I guess, the well, the late Gilbert, I should say, he passed away in uh, 2017. He was the, I guess, uh, more contemporary patriarch of the company. Uh, he was born in 1931, and he shifted from growing to brokering tobacco. And in the 60s, the pressure became so great, he, he said, I gotta get out of here. And so he started traveling from country to country, uh, looking for uh, tobaccos that had a Cuban taste. And um, he ended up going to Honduras, Panama, Mexico, even went to the Philippines, and he ended up in Nicaragua. How come we didn't choose the Dominican Republic? What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> you almost Dominican, so. And, um, but anyway, this, this cigar itself was introduced in 2007. This is a high priming sun grown wrapper. So in other words, it comes from the top of the plant. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's probably a little spicier, but it should be a little sweeter too. But it's, I, I'm getting a nice uh, kind of consistency out of it. It's I yeah. very smooth. I don't, I don't get the spice at all. I did in the beginning, but I'm, well, I'm getting a little bit on the finish. I'm getting a little pepper in mine. It says here that they, they call it dense and earthy with notes of pistachio, mm. sweet spice, almonds, and dark chocolate. Well, well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. But um, <laughs> anyway, so you're, you're Dominican. What, what's, what have you found? You've been in the business how many years now? Uh, 20. 20 years. Okay. What, what do you find the major difference between Dominican and Nicaraguan tobacco? Well, Dominican tends to be more milder. Really? Yes. And the creamy, creamier. Mm -hmm. uh, for most of them, even though there's some full body Dominicans, I would say like La Flor Dominicana oh, sure. and mm -hmm. the Opus X, you know, mm -hmm. oh, those yeah. tend to be, and the Ashton Virgin Song Grove, mm -hmm. th those tend to be a little bit more on the fuller side, but most of them are more creamier, more milder. And the Nicaragua tends to be more fuller body, right. you know, because they they have the Lijero wrapper in there. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, a little bit of a difference that you find between the two Dominicans and Nicaraguan cigars. Yeah, yeah I, I, w I would tend to agree. Nicaragua seems to become the place mm -hmm. where everybody's growing this you know, tobacco and making cigars. And uh, it's more like medium full. It's a hearty smoke and it goes good with the coffee. Yes. But in act two, we're going to pair it with Florida Cana. I'm always talking about Florida Cana. Well, you're going to actually see us do it on camera. So. There you go. See you in Act 2. And take a look at this. <laughs> There's an ash cloud above us. An ash cloud? All right. It's time for Act 2 with the Oliva Serie V Lancero. Hashtag now smoking classic edition <laughs> with Vilma Ravello. Anyway, I'm really liking this cigar. I haven't met too many people who don't like it. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing? You're a little bit ahead of me there. I'm doing great. Uh -huh. It's even, very even on the smoke. And, and a Lancero is a cigar you're really supposed to relax. Relax with. and enjoy. That's yes. why I'm glad we're in the famous smoke shop lounge, because you can just you can, you can just and, lay yeah. back and relax. And and it's it's um, a kind of what they call a personal smoke. Mm -hmm. And I notice that a lot of manufacturers, when they roll their own cigars for themselves, they usually they do, they a usually do a Lancero. Do, do you know why that is? That I have no idea. I'm, I don't know either, no. but there must be something to yeah. it. I know Robert Holt has done one, and um, that's a good um, question to ask them. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Next time Robert comes in, I'm going to ask him. And um, th this one is just really, really fine. Um, the thing I wanted to ask you was, what do you th now? You say you like Lanceros, but what cigar shape do you think offers the most flavor? To me, I think it's the uh, Lonsdale, anywhere from mm. a 644, 646. 47, maybe the 48 is my ultimate favorite, and I think it packs a lot of flavor. Right, so you like those dimensions. D yes. Those are good, you know, and I, I, I really have never smoked enough Lonsdales, 
but I'm, I'm kind of looking to switch over a little bit from the Toros to something with a little smaller ring gauge, mm -hmm. like a smaller you know, ring Corona gauge. Extra or Lance, it, um, it, or Lonsdale. It's, it's not small enough to be a, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't feel like a Corona, but it doesn't feel like a Toro, so it's just yeah. perfect size for me. And I think it packs mm -hmm. a lot of flavor as well. Okay. Well, are you getting a peppery uh, no. finish? I don't know. I guess I am. I guess my, my throat's still a little sensitive from, uh, from my cold. I got the pepper uh, in the beginning, but it's mm -hmm. been okay. pretty consistent throughout yeah, the any, whole. Any specific flavors? Uh, like like this, this nutty, nutty chocolatey? No chocolate no, at all. Either. No. <laughs> okay. But you know what? We've been having it with coffee. Let's try it with a flor de caña from, yeah, let's from do Nicaragua. That. And let's I picked this it. because it is a Nicaraguan cigar, cigar, and we got some Nicaraguan rum. And I'm always talking about how great this is. So we're going to try it. This is the uh, Grand Reserve, a seven-year yeah. age, slow aged. So we're just going to get a little taste of it because we have to go to work after this. <laughs> so a uh, little pour here. OK. It's for you, my lady. Thank you. <laughs> and I will have a little bit, too. All right. and. Uh, Salud. Oh, salud. All right. Ooh. This is good. Ooh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> this is very good. Now, when you take a puff, does it change the flavor of the cigar at all? Is that? Now I'm getting that ligero there. Oh, and okay. Got the little spiciness to mm -hmm. it. But well, not bad. This is spicy, in, in a yes, sense. Yes, in a, you know, in a, but in it's a very way. smooth. Very smooth. So I was uh, doing a tasting um, some months ago with some other cigars, and what they did was they said, "Take the a sip of the well, actually take a puff of the cigar, mm -hmm. and then." Ooh, yeah. Now, I'm really getting more of a, the liquor taste. It might be a little overpowering for the cigar. For I don't know. Cigar? But I know rum and cigars is a great combination. I like it a lot. But and this is one of the best. Maybe so. if you if you, if you do a fuller body with this, mm -hmm. or tone it down with a more milder, you'll probably balance it out mm. really really well. But I am getting a little, it did open up a little bit. I'm getting a little more of a, like a nutty, mm -hmm. nutty character out of it. Um, I haven't hit that uh, dark chocolate note yet, but, you know, we're only half, about halfway through. Maybe it'll show up in the uh, last third, so. Ooh, I'm feeling that right there, you know, that's good. <laughs> so we'll take one more sip. And then we'll see what happens in Act 3. Look at this. Baby, we are back We're with back. the Oliva Serie V Liga Especial Lanzado. Get a box of 36 cigars in here. That's yeah. nice, 36. Nice. 36. You don't get that too often. And I got to tell you, what, what did you think of the uh, rum? Rum, amazing. Yeah, it's, it's um, very good. But I think it's a little heavy. Heavy for the for cigar. The cigar. Then again, we are smoking in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> We're having yeah. this in the morning, and mm -hmm. I think it's more like a, a more nighttime. Probably yeah, I agree. They, if yeah. they had this it is, at night, then yeah. it'd be a good combination. Yeah, this is kind of like an after dinner, a really good after dinner cigar to relax with. What would you recommend, if not the rum? What, would you, what do you think would pair well with this then? I think a Macallan 12 would McCallum, go good. Oh, absolutely. A, a yeah. Volvini. Yeah. You yeah. know, something like that. Yeah, so the Macallan 12 is really super smooth. It's not as spicy. Um, I love it myself, so I would definitely recommend that myself. Um, I'm getting a little more sweetness out of the cigar. Are you? No, it's even for me throughout the whole. It's been very consistent. Very consistent. Well, it's been consistent 
I'd say it is consistent for the most part, but I am getting a little more sweetness. Mm -hmm. Towards um, the end. Yeah, and I know jalapa tends to be a little sweet. Mm -hmm. um, the lajero might be strong, but I think it probably brings out a little more sugars more too. Sugar, yeah. So I'm getting a little more sweetness, and um, I'm still getting, I'm getting kind of an earthiness, which is kind of natural with Nicaraguans. Yeah. And I'm just really, really enjoying the cigar, even though it is in the morning. Yeah, even it's though just really nice. It's really nice. And I'm getting a really good volume of smoke. I mean, yeah. the, the, the draw is perfect. The, the perfect. Even, mm -hmm. even, very even. Yeah, so you didn't take your cigar. band off yet? No, because I just wanted people to know that we still smoke. <laughs> I believe it's so easy. Okay, well, anyway, we're here in the uh, famous smoke shop cigar lounge in Easton, Pennsylvania. And you, you've, you, you're a lounge person, right? You hang yeah. out in, yeah, in I a do couple hang. of lounges yes. in, I've been you know, around, around the area and here, area. of course. Here. Uh, let me ask you a question. When, you, when you're observing other cigar smokers mm -hmm. in the lounge, yes. what's the thing, that, is there one thing that really bugs you, you know, that you see that you say, all right, you know? Why is he doing that? It's licking the cigar and then cutting with other people's cutters. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that, that's, that that's kind of that's, that's like, risky. yeah. Because some people wet the cigar first. Just and so wet it. the cigar and <laughs> then you're like, oh, okay, keep the cutter type yeah. of thing. Uh, that's that's probably one of my yeah. pet peeves. What drives me nuts is like if they cut it too deep. Too deep, yeah. Or, or even worse is when they, they take the, uh, they take the uh, lighter and they, they, and they just like, it. it's like they're, they're, they're welding rebar, the you know, <laughs> it's, it's just yeah. drives me nuts. Sometimes if, if, it, if it's one of my friends, I'll be like, oh my God, you're killing it. Yeah. Like, here, give me that. So, you know, I try to like school them yeah. on, on what not really, to do. You, do you really, do you get like, do you actually like say to somebody like, um, you know, like I saw a guy uh, in, in the, uh, in the restaurant here. He put a cigar out like a cigarette, mm -hmm. and I, I I wanted to say something, but I usually just all right, leave them alone. Do I don't you? want to get into a <laughs> the, uh, whole thing. But you really should just let your cigar, let it sit. When you're done with it, let it go, leave it like that, and it'll go out in about it, five, ten, five, minutes, ten minutes, yeah. And it won't, yeah, because if you do that, it just makes a really stinky mess. And I don't know, I just I don't, I, you know, like so much goes into these cigars, you know, so many hands. And uh, it's it's made with love and passion and it's an art. It's an art, and you know to just like kind of kind of do like that. Yeah, it makes it's me nuts. Make, yeah, that, yeah, I agree. I, I agree with you on that one. So anyway, this Oliva Lancero Serie V has been actually really, really nice. Really, really nice. Really enjoying it. If, and if. Um, you can buy the Oliva Serie V Lanceros at Famous Smoke Shop. That's famous-smoke.com online. And you can buy all Oliva cigars, right? Yeah. We carry the whole line, the, the G, line, the O, the, 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 the Melania, the, 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 whole, the whole The Gilberto. Thing. So oh yeah, we the Gilberto, carry, yeah. who we talked about before. And uh, it's a must get cigar. If, if yeah. you have not tried our Oliva Series V or any of the Oliva lines, it's a must get. It's, it, you have to have it in your yeah, it cigar really is a, an aficionado bag. cigar. It's a, you, you should have at least a couple, a couple. in your humidor. Mm -hmm. So anyway, for more cigar information and advice, be sure to follow us on CigarAdvisor.com. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And if you're watching us on YouTube, be sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And hit the like button. That's right. Hit the like button. The little bell, actually. The little bell. So and you can, um, you can then get notifications when we... Do another video yeah, like this. So, uh, Vilma, I want to thank you for coming on oh, today. Oh, thank you for having it's been me. Great. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you like Lancero. I do. I wasn't aware of that. I do. I so do. we got a perfect uh, match here. Match. And I uh, want to thank you for watching. So we'll see you next time on hashtag No Smoking. Happy smokes. <laughs>